Alrighty, yeah, I should be yet again using the overhead thing, but it kind of, and I will go through a big proper, uh, like I'll put maybe the strength points um, for both sides so we can get a good idea of what's going to happen. And I think uh, what I'm going to do, this will be the last turn coming up, so it'll be, oh, yeah, because there's going to be, I'm not doing any uh, combats for the first army. And you'll see over here, I'm really happy that I was able to, um, um, help this guy out here that was in deep, deep trouble. So basically what I did was um, I shifted um, a couple of the strength points over to here and then um, some uh, one strength point over to here and then shifted a couple more over. I'll tell you one thing though, it's been really good um, being able to just stare at it at the Russian, for the Russian turn from the Russian side. I think a lot of the times um, I didn't do it from here. I was always looking at it from the other side. It was just the orientation of the table that I originally had it in the living room. And I've already thought about it uh, for the past few days. I was like, you know what? I'm going to turn the, like, I, I really want to have the war table, uh, the centerpiece for the living room and so on and so forth. So maybe after the live stream on Saturday, we'll see what happens. I'm probably going to need somebody to help me because uh, I don't want to screw up the war table, that type of stuff. But, um, I think I'm going to do like a major overhaul of the living room and dining room area or, you know, that's what people call them things. And, um, t yeah, I'll tr transform it properly so that way I can have um, the war table square in the middle and now I can walk around the whole thing. That's what I really want to be able to do. But anyways, I did the best I could as far as I could see. I've moved, you know, shifted as many troops as I possibly can. I'm trying to make it hard. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. There's, uh, no, I'm not doing an attack over here. I know exactly what the Germans have been up to. They've got a ton. They just keep their, they've got a lot of strength points they were able to put in right off the bat in here. And like, even at that, uh, even that in that spot where they um, moved in. Um, I think they've got something like five strength points, if I remember correctly. I just don't have, I don't have any supply. So it was all taken away from me. That's uh, the first army here. And um, so it's just not effective. There's just not enough strength points to go around. And it's more or less kind of like that the entire way. I'll show it, like I said, we'll do a proper whatever. But... Um, what I'm seeing for the Russians, basically for the remainder of the month, and uh, if they can hold on, that's great. Uh, thank God they did the, uh, you know, sign the non-aggression pact. Hold on, we'll go from the German side for a bit here. And I can also switch hands. All right, so back to this bit. Yeah, so basically I, what I see is um, it's going to be like a month of taking body blows and is just... Hang in there uh, for, you know, you've got, what, th turn three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, boy. That's a lot of turns. And the Germans have a lot of, um, as you know, I think this is the turn. I'll have to take a look, but I'm pretty sure this is the turn that, uh, not all of them at once, uh, that Charles Tortoise gets to un unleash the, um, I think something like 36 strength points worth of uh, the Stung Division. So, um and there's a lot of supply points now that uh, they've got a brand new army here. The Warsh army's come in. It's already done a bit of damage. But there's a lot of supply points sitting around here that are just waiting to go. It's just, like I said, the Germans have just got everything, uh, almost everything in place. I think what's going to happen, I'm not sure. Well, we're going to do one more initiative thing. This will probably be the last turn I do an initiative thing. And uh, I think after, uh, I'll give the Russians a chance. Um... And then after that, uh, it'll go back and forth, no matter what happens. So if the Germans get win this initiative, I'll, I'll do it on the thing. But um, yeah, so the, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll do a proper whatever here. Hold on, I, I think I may, yeah, maybe I'm not thinking of something, and maybe I will. Hold on. All right, here I am talking away there, and I forgot. I was like, wait a minute, you uh, didn't hit the pa uh So this will be the last time I use the blocks, I think. Uh, you know, to figure out uh, initiative and whatnot. And like I said, you're going to be able to see it first before I do kind of thing. Um, is there anything else? No, that's it. I just have to do some record keeping. Um, but uh, this will be going into 03 November. And if the Germans win it, that means um, there will be a lot of interesting things. And if the Russians win, all it means basically is it's just going to be a bit more posturing and make things a bit more difficult 
uh, for the Austro Germans down in Galicia and whatnot. I can't see, you know, I just, I just can't see anything happening. We'll see. Maybe something miraculous will pop up in my head or something. I doubt it, but whatever. Okay, so I'm putting them here. I'm not looking anymore. Actually, looking at that picture of uh, um, the church of uh, or the two towers there of uh, or, well, the church of Mont Saint Eloi. Okay, so here we go. One more time. It feels weird. All right, I'm gonna grab this one. Who are you? Oh my! So the Germans are going, and uh, that's it. We go back and forth, and that means, um, uh, wow. It's gonna, well, it's gonna be. I mean, I shouldn't just say the Germans, because the Austro. Uh, I mean, the Austro-Hungarians here get to uh, do their bit. So that'll be that. I uh, hope you have a wicked Friday, and um, I think what I'm gonna try to do is, uh, yeah, this thing needs a major clean. So uh, hopefully I'll uh, figure out a, a way of putting um, some kind of rigid surface underneath. Uh, I'll be able to transfer it over to the war table. And uh, that's that. Anyways, I hope you have a fantastic Friday. See you later.